There was a couple more things I wanted to cover that I failed to cover. One of them was this uh, Michael Tellinger vanished gold mining civilizations of South Africa, and it's uh, it, that's that's actually the Uncharted X that talked about the pyramid. I'm done with that. The <clears throat> sorry, the thing that I, I'm looking for the website. Uh, here is his website, and the thing that I just found, and I wasn't prepared, and that's why I started a new... Where? And it's gone now. I just closed it? Okay. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, I need to go back, and then we'll see his page. I, I'm just finding out about this location. There it is. And he shows Adam's calendar, and I'm like, where is Adam's calendar? He writes that it's 31 degrees along the east longitude... And I, I finally found the thing. So here we were at the Giza Pyramids. And if we plug that in here, we can... Uh, I think I can just hit that right there. We can go there. It goes straight down Africa. So it's on the same line of longitude, essentially. This Adam's calendar. And uh, there's a lot of... It's not very clear, unfortunately. So... And it's not listed under Adam's calendar. It's listed under, not that, sorry. Where is it? I always lose this stuff. There it is. It's listed under Blau, Bas, Kral, Stone, Ruins. And I guess Kral means um, corral. And so I think it has to do with, like, they were saying these things were corrals for um, cattle or I guess, or, or other types of animals, domesticated animals. And there were a bunch of pictures here. Where's those other pictures? Uh, yeah, and the, and the thing was is that uh, he's convinced, and I'm very curious in the idea that these were the gold mines of Anunnaki. I don't know why they're using this picture or what's happening, or if this is them creating gold. Uh, we see fish. I mean, this is an interesting clay tablet, that's for sure. But um, I'm more interested in... Uh, Understanding the connection with Adam's calendar, he's also claiming that it's quite old. Like it's one of the oldest things, and we're talking about hundreds of thousands of years. So uh, I'm interested in learning more about this Adam's calendar. Here's a picture of it provided by Tamron Liebenberg. Some interesting shots. And um, if you go back to his website, you can read all about it. It says he's a, it's a still functioning stone calendar. He claims it's 300,000 years old. I don't know how he dated it. So this is why I'm skeptical. But he claims that it's just like Stonehenge. He also claims Stonehenge is much older. He, he gets into it. I've been watching this video, but uh, I had to watch it one more time. And I, I kind of feel like I, I'm getting bored with the information in the beginning. So I missed the middle, and I'm going to listen to it again right now. That's it, really. I just wanted to mention this Adam's calendar since I hadn't heard of it before. And when I was down in, and what it reminds me of, these stones, uh, it reminds me of the actual uh, the, the, the stone circle that I visited it was not really a circle. It was a, a stone monument that I visited in southern Taiwan, in Dulan. It was actually in Bay, Bay An. It was in the. It was in this actual the Bay Nan tribe or site was uh, actually in Taidong, but it, then there was Dulan was next door. So it was kind of an interesting parallel there. Okay, I'm kind of done talking. I just wanted to basically, I mean, am I done talking? Is there anything else to mention? I think I was going to mention this right here. The Sangoan Empire or the Sangoan culture develops here. And that's a, it says advanced culture. It doesn't say civilization. So this is the second category here. 64,000 years ago, right in the same area. And I wondered if, uh, and... Michael Tellinger's claim is the Anunnaki um, were mining gold and he's got these mines. And I'm just wondering if this culture has any relationship with that. It's kind of hard because I can't really find a lot of information about it online. Where's his website again? Here. Um, these stone circles that you can see here, 
the, he claims to have found 10 million of them. I, I'm going to try to find a few. So it's kind of a, a shame that uh, he didn't really provide for free. I mean, he does sell his, uh, his researches for sale. You have to become a member. So maybe if I became a member, I would be able to access the information directly from him. But I'm trying to kind of find the connection with, uh, with, uh, you know, I'm trying to double check all this. So the gold mining empire of Anunnaki, that's what we're talking about at this point. And I'm just trying to figure out if this Sangoan empire 64,000 years ago, which is really the first culture that arrives in earth, according to mainstream history. When I say that you can see this video, and you can see I should probably keep the sound down. I don't. Well, I don't care about the music, but you can see this is according to mainstream history, uh, two hundred thousand years ago. So we've already got a, a difference here. Um, we've got humanity coming out of Africa. The out of Africa theory. Well, if the Anunnaki genetically created humans, or I should say, um, Homo sapiens. Right. Sorry. Uh, what are we? Homo sapiens? Yeah, then um, perhaps this actually has some truth or some merit, but he's claiming that the Adam's calendar down there was from 300,000 years ago. Oh, I should probably check and see if I've got anybody uh, chatting. I don't. Do I? I don't know what's going on here. Nobody's watching and nobody's chatting. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, well, anyways, it's okay because, like I said earlier, I'm developing this new channel. Yeah, that was an interesting fact, right? Factoid? Is a factoid true? I don't think so. Um, this channel here is the one that I'm trying to move all these types of videos over to, but uh, to be honest, uh, I found out that the Ancient Insights channel already exists. YouTube lets you have the same name. It's kind of stupid. You know, when I got the name, I was so happy, and now I find that the channel actually already exists by somebody else. So um, I still will probably populate this channel, but I just won't take it as seriously, and I'll try to repopulate a different channel. Okay, that's it. I really don't have much more to talk about at this point in time. I dare not click on random stuff on my... I see these things that I saved, and I'm just wondering, what did I save here? Dare I do it? I don't think I'm going to do that. I can uh, talk about it. I just wanted to kind of kill some time here, try to get a nine-minute video. I don't know why. I'm kind of not worried about monetization. I've been doing a lot of carpentry and redecorating. Here's a picture of a cabinet that I built for some people I know. And uh, I'm going to go visit it this week or next week and see how it's doing. You got the toaster oven. You've got the, I think it's called the Taki. I forgot. Anyways, I like the organization. I like this uh, symmetry, but un unsymmetrical. I think that it added a lot. By the way, if you know what was there before that was built, you would have been shocked. So this, this shelving is, I know it looks simple, but it was solving a lot of big problems. It took a couple weeks to finish and... What can I say? I'm kind of proud of it. I built another cabinet the other day, but you're not here for carpentry, are you? It's almost Christmas. I'm I'm actually in Taipei today. I am um, jealous of Bright Insight and uh, all those guys going to the pyramid. But at the same time, I'm happy to be safe in Taiwan with only 750 cases of the COVID. I haven't checked the numbers lately, but I believe that the COVID numbers are extremely high. Well, I've got a viewer. Okay, I'm past nine minutes and I showed those informational facts that I wanted to give you the, the uh, thing on Michael Tellinger. I'm not sure what else there was. This is, uh, see, I keep opening up this website. This uh, Adam's calendar here get rid of that I mean I don't know I don't know what's going on here it doesn't look right but I think this is it maybe this is not the Adams calendar because the 
Maybe it's over here. But it's down in South Africa, and we're looking for these other so-called gold mines. I don't know where he came up with the number 10 million. I don't even know how anybody can count 10 million on Google Earth. I mean, he must have used some type of estimation. What's this? That's definitely not one of his circles. If you're not familiar with these ruins, uh, that's a, that green one is a good example of what he's found. And uh, these stones piled up, these flat stones, uh, this, they, there's a lot of great pictures here. I'm still researching it. I'd like to visit it for sure. So this is what I'm into right now. Adam's calendar. See, that doesn't look like the thing. See, look at that. See, there you go. Well, you know what? I'm still getting mad because I want to see... Okay, I want to see this. That's definitely not what I was looking at, at on Google Earth. So... So I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm upset. Where is it? Here? Yeah, he's got the Horus Stone, which actually is very interesting because he's talking about this bird-shaped stones and how he's found them everywhere. Orion's Belt. Monoliths. Very interesting stuff, right? I can zoom in a little more, maybe? Let me try a little more. Boom. Oh, and then it goes to the top again. <clears throat> I'm at 500 zoom, so. That's an interesting stone right there. I'd like to see that up close. Looks like a chess piece. Where is it? Did we already see the picture? Yeah, he's got this thing about uh, promissory notes, and it seems a little scammy. I don't understand what's going on here. So he's got, that's an interesting presentation right there. The cone-shaped tools. Oh, what does this say? Oh, the winter solstice goes that way, west. That's the uh, summer solstice right there. So th that's east. And those are the three uh, Orion belt monolith. Or maybe we, we should say the three kings, honestly, right? Or the three wise men. And then what's that? That's the east star. So that represents a lot right there when you're talking about looking at the east side. I can see that. Uh, this one, so there's the opposite direction. Let's go back down. I want to see this this stone here. What, what? What? Why did it disappear? I feel like I'm. There it is. That stone right there. It's so interesting. I don't think I can zoom in anymore. That's the maximum I can zoom in. So I'd like to check this out on Google Earth, but I still haven't really found it. I don't think that was it, right? I don't think that was it. It just doesn't, there's a cliff in that picture. Where's the cliff? There's no cliff. So I still haven't found it. So uh, that made me angry. Uh, I'm still learning and I'm going to keep searching for this Adam's Calendar location. That's definitely not it. I, I guess this is one of the gold mines. Or maybe this is just a, it's just not right. Where's my search? Here? This was my search results right here. Blau Pascral Stone Ruins. All right. Anyways, I'll keep looking and that's 